What's up everybody? It's me, Mr. Joel, and we are Man in Training Today, and today we're going to do a cricket freeze. So let's go straight into it. First thing we're going to do is we go down. Alright, now, something that's super important for this freeze is our hand placement. So you want the back of your elbow to be placed as closely to your belly button as possible and your palm is open. So we have both sides going on right now, so you guys can pick whichever side suits best for you. So you're gonna sit your hand down to the side and you're gonna have the side of your head touching the floor. Your other hand is reaching forward, so you should be able to see your hand. Don't bring it in too close. First thing we're gonna do is straighten our legs out. We're gonna bend our front leg and then our back leg is going to kick over to the front. And that right there is a cooker freeze. Alright, so we're going to do the cooker freeze one more time. This time we're going to break it up into three sections just to make it a little more uh, smooth and flowy. So we're down. We place our hands getting ready. We sit it down. Now the first part is our head on the floor. This is one. Legs go out on two. And three, we're gonna flip the legs over so that the back leg goes to the front. And make sure, just like that, it's straight. And there you go. Alright, so now I'm gonna teach you guys an advanced version of cricket freeze. It's very similar, the only difference is the legs. So I'm still gonna go down. I still got my elbow near my belly button. I'm gonna set my head down, uh, my head down and my hand down the same way. So I'm here, head goes on the side, make sure I can move forward. Hand is forward, legs go up. Instead of flipping it, like how I had my friends do earlier, I'm just gonna pick up this leg straight and my back leg is gonna bend into a Nike check. Now from here, I'm gonna pick my head up and keep it here and this is the advanced version of the cricket freeze. 